On October 5th, Joshua Centers asked, Is there a form builder that I can embed in Kartra that will redirect to a Kartra pop-up to capture the info? I've tried several forms, and they all just collect info in their app. I want it to go into a Kartra form. So the answer to this, uh, after some investigation, is yes, you can. Uh, there is a, a tool called SurveyJS, and uh, it's quite possibly the only uh, quiz and survey tool that can you can actually embed on a Kartra page, as opposed to embedding an iframe that accesses a third-party application through the iframe. With SurveyJS, you can actually build a survey or a quiz and Im embed the actual implementation code for the survey or quiz in, uh, in your Kartra pages on your own website. And in this video, I'm going to show um, how you set that up. I've set up a little demonstration to show how all the pieces fit together. So first, uh, I've started out creating a, um, a basic Kartra page builder page. So I'm going to call this the, um, the Acme Corporation homepage. And on this homepage, I want to have a, a customer needs survey. Um, and I'm going to plug that in here. Um, right here, I've added a, a, just a custom code box. Uh, so one of these. Um, that's there. I'll show you the code um, in a little bit. And then uh, this is a, a pop-up button um, that's going to pop up a, an opt-in form. So I've just got a, a form that's got first name, email address, and then a, a, a form, uh, sorry, a field for the response. And I'm going to set this up so that this field uh, is hidden. So all they'll see on the form after they fill out the survey will be the first name, which um, in this case, I'm going to uh, prompt them for their first name in the survey so that I can personalize the survey. And then I'll pre-fill this field from the survey. I'm going to just let them or, or prompt them to enter their email address uh, on the form when they're ready to submit their results. And then the survey response field will be uh, pre-filled when they complete the survey. Um, and I've, I've rigged this form to show the response briefly, um, but normally it would, it would be set up to not show at all. And then when they submit, all three fields will, will be submitted to Kartra. And then I'll show you what the, the lead a value looks like after the form is submitted. So to fill in this custom code, you go to surveyjs.io. Uh, it almost all of their stuff is uh, free at this time. Um, they may decide to charge for more of their services later, but currently they charge uh, licensing fees if you want to use their export to PDF service or if you want to um, Im embed their survey builder software into your own website. But if you're just gonna use their survey builder on their website, uh, you get quite a bit for free. So I've set up a, a three page uh, survey here. Uh, there's only one question on the first page. What is your name? I do that so that I can personalize the questions on page two. I say, to help me understand your needs, first name, please check all that apply. Uh, so I've got, um, it, the text may be a little small, so I'll read it. Uh, the first option is, uh, and these are check boxes. You can do radio buttons, drop downs, comments, ratings. Uh, there's a whole slew of things you can do. Uh, I suggest you come to their website, uh, surveyjs.io, to see all the stuff that's available. So I've got two options here. Um, one is I'm trying to solve a problem I have and don't want. And the second choice is I'm trying to achieve a result I want and don't have. And then these two questions uh, are conditional on whether they select these options to have them fill in more information. Then on page three, I say, what have you tried so far, first name? 
and then I prompt for their budget and I just threw in a couple values, less than 500, 500 to $1,000, 1,000 to 2,500, and more than 2,500. So this will um, build some, some HTML and JavaScript uh, th that implements the survey. And when you go to the page, it's going to look like this messy code. So this is this is definitely not point and click configuration. It's a bit more involved. Um, also the styling, there's very limited uh, control over the styling. You have control over things like how many columns you get for a list of choices um, and some really minimal color schemes. Um, but for the most part, you're gonna have to plan on styling using custom styling sheets. Uh, so this is definitely not a, a point-and-click simple solution, um, but here's the here's the code. Um, so you include uh, a couple of their setup files. Um, there's a variable that basically encodes the entirety of the quiz uh, or survey, and then you can hook in a function that says what to do when the survey is completed. And I've written a function um, that will submit it, the survey results to Kartra. Um, and I can include uh, the code for that uh, in the bottom of my post. So basically that just gets put in there. So we've got whatever styling or introductory information you want on the page. You've got your embedded JavaScript code from a custom code block. And then you've got a button with a pop-up opt-in form. So let's take a look at how that actually runs. So here I'm running this in an incognito window um, just to show you that there are no uh, pre-filled field values uh, from cookies or anything of that nature. So this, this uh, pop-up form starts out completely blank So I'll put in my first name. And so here we've got the customized text. So to help understand your needs, Brian, please check all that apply. Uh, so as I check these boxes, the conditional questions appear. So I'll plug in some input. Go to the next page. What have you tried so far, Brian? Lots of things. And we'll say greater than 2,500. And now as I say complete, here's my form. In this case, I'm stuffing the entire uh, result of the form into one field. You don't necessarily want to do that. You may want uh, separate fields in your form, especially if you're going to do conditional uh, automations and sequences in Kartra. Uh, but just for the sake of this demo, I stuffed it all in one field. You'll see that it's uh, pre-filled my first name. It was blank before, and now it has my first name. So please enter your email address and submit your survey. And then I just have this going to a super simple thank you page. So it's submitting that, and I have run this before. So I already have my input. Um, I reused a field called Lesource. I didn't want to create a new one. So here's the, the code that got imported on that field um, to be a little bit more readable. Um, it basically looks like this. So it's got a label for each field. First name is Brian. The needs that were checked were solve a problem and achieve a result. The description of the problem was getting the right message to the right audience. The description for the result was making more money in order to help more people. Things that were tried, lots of things, budget $2,500 or, or up. So that's what that looks like. And then if you want to do an automation based on the results, you can go to uh, create a new automation 
the first thing you want to fill in is lead fills in the form and then the name of the form and then after you put that in you can get you can add a condition uh, lead leads custom field and then the field and then a couple of different options contains or does not contain or is some value or is not some value and then you can do whatever you want su subscribe them to a sequence or send them to a, a membership or whatever you want to do.